Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the new uh, Dragon's Lair Mini 1 6th scale fully functional arcade machine. This is uh, by a company called Replicate. They've done other ones, including Street Fighter 2. Uh, they've done other ones as well, which is awesome. Uh, I just got this. This was funded through a Kickstarter that I supported uh, last year. And uh, like I said before, it's fully functional. Uh, extremely great detail. So we're gonna take we're gonna do an unboxing. Uh, check this, take a closer look at this thing. See how it operates. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's a closer look at the box itself. I love the the box. I just love the look of it. Uh, very cool. Don Bluth. Um, he lives here locally. I live in the Phoenix area. He lives in Scottsdale. I've met him a couple times. Super nice guy. He's get, getting up there in age. Uh, limited edition 12 inch play scale arcade. It's one sixth scale to the actual. Okay, the size I mentioned before, which the original one is over 300 pounds. This obviously is not that much, that heavy. On the side here, you got a uh, Play's actual arcade game, um, authentic arcade controls, bonus replica laser disc. Now there was a Dragon's Lair 2 that came out and there's Space Ace, other ones. This was a, uh, a laser disc game that came out in, in the early 80s. And actually te technically, I mean, technology wise, it was uh, really advanced. It's like playing a cartoon, interactive cartoon. Uh, it says here in features, really small print. Uh, plays original 1983, which is the year it came out. Fully functional secondary scoreboard display. Tra uh, traditional 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Has a gorgeous 4.2 inch screen. Operator menu featuring dip switch settings, which is awesome. It's like the original miniaturized 1.6 scale control panel. Featuring authentic joystick and action buttons. Cabinet constructed from a premium material, wood, metal, and plastic. Die cast metal coin door with storage compartment. Illustrated marquee and LED cabinet uh, assets. Signature uh, amplified multi speaker audio re reproduction with volume control. Built in lithium bat rechargeable battery. I'm not quite sure how long the battery lasts on this. HETV connectivity, which is awesome. U USB controller support. Mini laser disc player replica with rear cab storage drawer uh, it is not functional unfortunately uh, officially licensed from digital leisure 100 day uh, new wave toys factory warranty okay uh, you go to their website you can find out more information they've done uh, games like asteroids and in street fighter 2 uh, tempest uh, and uh, centipede were the other ones that they've released uh, this kind of opens up to the side kind of a sleeve like this let's open this up Check this out. This is really cool artwork there. Now they are working on a Dragon's Lair movie, which is cool. I know they did a crowdfunding that years ago, which I funded and, and they are working on that. Here's what the cabinet looks like itself. Very lightweight. And uh, let's take off this plastic. I'll turn on in a second, but you can see the attention to detail. You got one player, two player, you get your sword, swords. You can play left-handed or right-handed on this. Uh, this is the coin door they're talking about that opens and closes. And this is how you add credits. You just hit one of these. Here's a side art. Don Bluth, he did so many great movies, I mean, and games. He also worked on Secrets of Nim, which is one of my favorite cartoons. Um, he did uh, American Tale, if I, you know, which is great. Here's the other side. And so we'll turn it on in a second, but this is the display. Here, I'll take this plastic off. But this is the secondary display unit here. If I have fingernails, I can, I can do that. I'll do that in a second. And let's see what else it comes with. It comes with USB charger. There's no wall adapter. Um, so you have to find a wall adapter for that. I'm assuming they, they assume that you have it if you have a phone, smartphone. Uh, most, people, most of us do, that you'll have that wall adapter. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Here is, let's see, open this up. Comes with an instruction manual. It kind of feels like old school paper. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of a, a buffer paper there. How to operate it. Done in kind of an old school style, which is awesome. Yeah, on the back, I'll show you on the back. Here's how you power it. You get the USB, uh, the HDMI out, so you can hook it up to your TV. Uh, this is your charge, your volume control here. I don't think their other arcades did that. I think that's the first one that actually can actually power to hook up to your TV, which is cool. Very cool. Okay. And 
take a look and see what else we got here. Looks like a, uh, a sticker, or maybe it's a, it's a tattoo. It looks like a temporary tattoo. I'm not quite sure what this comes to. It's like a sticker comes with something. I'm not quite sure what that is. Four mini quarters, more for looks. And here is the mini laser disc. Let's open this up. This is cool. This is how the, the game would look back there. It'd play on the laser disc, which are in real life, they're like record size size, right? Record vinyl size. So here, how cute is that? That's super cool. The laser disc. Just more for looks, obviously, but that's cool. And if you look on the back here, you open this up. This is where the mini laser disc uh, goes into play. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Again, this is only for looks. You even have a little tiny remote control. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and this opens up and this is where the laser disc would play. You put it in there. So, man, they thought of everything here. This is, this is how it would go and you just put it in here. That's pretty rad. So let's, let's turn this bad boy on and take a closer look. Okay, we're gonna power this on from the back. Powers up pretty quickly. Um, it does come with some juice automatically out of the box too, which is nice. New Wave Toys is the company that makes this. Here's the display unit here on the very top. I mentioned before speakers. Pretty detailed. Although I think the speakers come from the back here, so not from the top, but uh, nonetheless, pretty cool. I've always been really bad at playing Dragon's Lair. Pretty vibrant screen, though. Uh, the speaker, the volume here, so it's off, this is the max. It does not come with an HDMI cable to hook up to your TV. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many of these they made. But, um, okay. We'll add some credit. I'm, like I said, I'm terrible at Dragon's Lair. Got a nice uh, lip screen, which is great. You can see that. Got to hit the timing right. Oh, I didn't. Ah. Let's see. Like I said, I'm 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 terrible at this game, but. Control's good. <laughs> this game's been ported to so many different consoles. Even the NES saw ported Dragon's Lair, although it plays so different, obviously. It doesn't play like this, but, you know, the CDI, the 3DO. Uh, I mean, this game's been ported to so many different platforms, even, even modern platforms as well. Uh, it's a classic. One of the better arcades there are. I think New Wave Toys did a really good job with this uh, unit. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll put a link to their website below. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. And, of course, game on.